In the early hours of Thursday, February 24th, Russia launched airstrikes on Ukraine and sent troops and military equipment over the border from Belarus to Crimea. Many of the first troops came through Ukraine's northeastern border with Russia, a line of attack that was weeks in the making. The Wall Street Journal analyzed dozens of satellite images captured by Maxar Technologies and Planet Labs, verified videos posted to social media, and found that the Russian troops and military equipment that came in from the east had moved out of large visible garrisons and dispersed into smaller, harder-to-track units along the border before they attacked. Russia had been amassing troops and equipment near Ukraine for weeks, which they said were for military exercises. Satellite images from a camp in Yelnya, Russia, show a military training area being built up. Images from January 19th show that the camp had expanded and that it was active. These tents are not snow-covered, a sign that they were likely being heated. Tom Bullock, an intelligence expert who analyzed these images, identified BM-27 Uragans, which are multiple rocket launcher systems. Battalions made up of what are likely 2S-19s, vehicles with guns designed to shoot shells long distances, and battalions of what look to be infantry fighting vehicles. But by February 12th, the area had mostly emptied out. Around the same time, satellite images show troops and equipment building up in several regions closer to the Russian-Ukrainian border. At a training area east of Korsk, satellite imagery from February 9th shows a line of empty heavy equipment transporters, likely waiting to be loaded with tanks. Then four days later, on February 13th, we can see the camp, which Bullock says had expanded in size significantly over the past few weeks, was active. The overturned dirt signals people and equipment were moving around. Also on the 13th, we see Russian military presence in two other key locations close to the Ukraine border. In the Bryansk region, we see Klimovo Air Base, where a new grouping of tents were visible, again, with signs they were being heated. In Saladi, which is a camp used regularly by the Russian military, we see a new field camp and signs of movement in the snow. North of Belgorod, we can see a helicopter camp with more than 12 attack and transport helicopters. And on February 15th, in Valyuki, we see another field of attack choppers. On February 15th, Russian officials signaled they were de-escalating and withdrawing some troops from the Ukrainian border. Over the following days, cloudy weather obstructed views of many key border locations from satellite images, but videos posted to social media suggest a continued march of soldiers and equipment towards the border with Ukraine. From these positions, the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv was in striking distance, and more troops could quickly be added to the Donbas region. The Ukrainian capital of Kyiv is about 300 miles from the border. This video from Belgorod, which the poster said they filmed on February 15th, shows a train traveling southwest towards the border, carrying various equipment from the 4th Tank Division, including towed howitzers, which shoot artillery shells. A video posted February 16th from Belgorod shows the 4th Tank Division heading south near the border. Bullock says they likely came straight from Moscow, which is significant because it's highly unusual for them to be so far outside their regular training area. On February 16th, in Tomorovka, an attack helicopter was filmed while landing at a civilian airfield. Experts have also identified a short-range air defense system. Bullock says it was partially obscured by a tarp, a sign of camouflage, not storage, and that it was in a position to be used. A day later, a video posted on February 17th, roughly 16 miles from the Ukraine border in Rilsk, shows Russian military vehicles, including a heavy equipment transporter, with a tank. Then, in a video posted the next day on February 18th, we returned to Tomorovka, where Bullock first identified an air defense system. He says that on the air defense system in this clip, the radar, which can be seen here, was in use. In the same video, we see T-90A tanks positioned on the edge of the woods facing the road, indicating vehicles may have started to disperse further into wooded areas, out of sight. In videos like this one posted in Belgorod on February 18th, we see markings that experts suspect identify Russian vehicles or convey other tactical information. Satellite images from February 21st and 22nd show how troops moved into remote camps where land is likely being cleared for additional troops. And we can see a new field hospital added to a garrison on the outskirts of Belgorod, suggesting possible casualties to come. <laughs> <laughs> 